Starting with River City Girl Zero, we've been bringing these uh, Japanese-only releases to a Western audience. And I think being able to put that on modern platforms is fantastic, allows more people to experience something that they may have never experienced before. We are definitely looking into more of these. Personally, I want to see more horror games. I'm Mariel Cartwright. I am the creative lead of the Port Plus version of Clock Tower. I've always been a big horror fan. I love, you know, Resident Evil and Silent Hill. I just love horror games in general and horror movies. But Clock Tower in particular is a game that I discovered when I was probably about 16. And it holds a really special place in my heart because at the time it was the scariest thing I had ever played. As this character Jennifer, I'm trying to get away from the scissor man. We have a ton of games where you're fighting monsters and you're shooting them with guns and that can still be scary but Clock Tower is distinct in that you really don't have any of those tools. It was one of the first experiences for me that really was like that in terms of horror, and I think that that's fantastic. It is true survival horror. You know, you can only survive, and I think it is a game that has a lot of quieter tension. Jennifer is such an interesting character because at the start of the game, we don't know a lot about her. And I think the game does such an amazing job of, of revealing a very heartbreaking story about her, you know, through different playthroughs of the game because it has a bunch of endings. And I think that's part of what got me so attached. There's kind of like the reverse engineering aspect of that. And then there's the other aspect of like, how do you get this stuff back into the game? Usually we always try to have both the legacy product as it was, and also offer something that's surprising. Like in River City Zero, we had the manga cutscenes. That's a fun little surprise for people. Directing the animated opening is pretty crazy. That's where we can add our own creativity, adding intro sequences and new translations. For Clock Tower specifically, there's a lot of like scripting events in there. So there might be a command to say, change the display speed of text. That's kind of been a tricky thing too with localization. It's like, how do I represent that? Being able to kind of oversee that and bring a new vision of this game to life, to be a part of it in any way at all is just incredible.